Uh, I'm here. I'm actually building a strong foundation for my future. Finally, what feels like. <laughs> Maya Howe dropped out of high school and recalls feeling terrible. After seeing all my friends walk and graduate without me. <laughs> so what changed? Got sick of working, you know, dead end jobs that I'm not going to go anywhere. Places where I couldn't, there wasn't any room for an improvement. And, you know, minimum wage, just trying, struggling to get by. Phase A, phase B. Neutral, ground. So if there's too much on the other But what's this, Job Corps? Intentional ground. A couple of my go. friends came here some years back and it worked out for them really well. They're successful and their stories are inspiring to me. She got her GED in a matter of weeks. And I knew I had the capabilities. I just, I never, never had the support or the resources. She found that support at the Tongue Point Job Corps Center in Astoria, Oregon. I, I think I'm just fortunate to have been able to come into it in Tongue Point. Be kind of close to home. I wanted to get into a career that's going to last a lifetime. We're all going to be going into really good jobs after this. And HBI has their own programs all over the U.S. HBI, Home Builders Institute. She trained to become an electrician. And then hopefully go into overhead lines after that. So Maya, do you have to overcome a fear of heights? I kind of do. I'm getting over it a little bit working on the scissor lift and things like that. <laughs> She's proud of what she accomplished and so is her family. And they're super proud of me. They're rooting for me every step of the way. It's, uh, it's rewarding being able to make them proud after so long of just struggling. Lots of hard work. So was it worth it? Oh, it's so worth it. It's so worth it to all of the kids here because we're a success story. The majority of us end up getting out of here and working the rest of our lives and helping contributing for the rest of our lives.